In Baroda, I think in Baroda, Jyoti Bhatt, uh, he inspired you for printmaking. No, Jyoti Bhatt, he was not teaking as a printmaking. Mm. Uh, Jogli Kassab, he was a teaching as a printmaking mm. department, he is in charge. But uh, just uh, when I joined that time, Jyoti Bhatt, he came from abroad. From, uh, America, from America. America. He was he did some printmaking, a lot of prints in uh, in a Pride Institute. So then, then uh, Shankar Choudhury was a professor in the uh, uh, dean. So why don't you study under him? Because here I was thinking about I want to study under Subramanyam. Okay. But Subramanyam he was not there, so he went to America that time. He got full bread program. I met him in Bombay when he was leave, going to that on the way to Baroda. Then. So <coughs> that time, Jyoti Bhatt was there, he was helping me. So then I went to <coughs> show me that my drawings, my paintings, he was very impressed that. Then he said, okay, he shown me some woodcut, you can start woodcut. Then before you start, you can, he took me to the library, one of the Japanese woodcut master, Munokata. Munokata is a, is a very beautiful, Woodcut done is a very expressive, not like a very decorative, but is a very expressive, emotional good, uh, prints. Then he said, You copy one of his things. Then I said, Then I was a little hard, to, then I started copying one of them. So then I still learned how to make a woodcut and that, like that. But I think you also uh, you saw an exhibition of Kathy Kalovitz. Uh, ah, in Baroda or in no 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 I this this was uh, my uh, before joining uh, printmaking <laughs> graphic Baroda before I was a student that during that time I saw Kathy Kolik exhibition at uh, one of the museum in Hyderabad okay uh, as a part of the Jajanta Pavilion there's a special museum about uh, exhibition about Kathy Kolik and the black and white. That was in a woodcut and lit, uh, lithographs, and uh, it was a beautiful one. It was very expressive. But uh, that time is uh, during the Second World War, how people suffering, yeah. and she expressed very nicely with the black and white. And uh, that uh, was giving uh, some kind of uh, inspire me that part. But I am not doing the figurative. But even though that media, is yeah. Like, Help me, that's really inspired me. That So it was before Baroda? Before Baroda. Then yeah. I got the chance to get into Baroda. Because one of the print senior artists like Gauri Shankar, he went to study printmaking in Baroda. Uh, that like that, I, then I thought I can also can join. So then I went to Baroda because of the interest of the print, how it looks done. That. So there's a facilities in the Baroda only that time. Uh, Printmaking department is available in that, but I never have a chance to come to Delhi. I have never idea because the Gauri Shankar he went to as a study printmaking in Baroda, so that's why I went to Baroda to study printmaking. So then Jyoti Bai was there. Then he was told me this: so you copy this Munakota, one of the print. Then you how to know? How to. Then I started copying. Then after that I started practicing. With, oh, Lithographs. Lithograph stones are available, you don't need to pay any money. That, but so you have to grind the stone, then like that, you can make a print. That he was helping to that. Then same time we have a etching department, etching course are But etching is a, is a, you have to pay so much money for a plate and thing. So the <laughs> Joglika Sahib is helping me, that he gave me some plates to me. That Like that we are working. But after that, <coughs> Jyoti Bharti started it some kind of a group made in evening class, evening time. Uh, we know the Rai Patel, we are Patel, <coughs> uh, uh, what you call uh, Bhupen Kakkar, uh, Jyoti Bhai and the, the, so a couple of teachers, so a few students, senior students, they join in the group. So he bought the, he made a hard ground and uh, then how to make up like the ground, then he started etching in evening time. So it, it started your printmaking print career? Etching more and more. Like that, uh, getting more involvement in the H, lot of <coughs> printmaking. So you are more comfortable in etching or lithography or woodcut? No, that I feel more comfortable as a uh, 
lithograph because lithography is a skill a very spontaneous as like a painterly but uh, etching is a little hard like a sculpture kind of that's he you have to But you good very good result in yeah. etching texture wise and other yeah. thing so i i did a couple of wood cut also but uh, i feel more comfortable the way he, the uh, way i work with the uh, lithograph way i work uh, etching so we were talking about that uh, experience of dhunal gallery that Mm-hmm. still people were Because not the, uh, this uh, uh, what you call him mr yuvan sundaram he started amrita shirgir foundation they had a workshop in baroda they made it like some kind of portfolios that portfolio is supposed to be sell very reasonable price and if you want to buy if you don't buy the print portfolio you can buy individual print so the individual print is going to cost only 50 rupees that was time mm. but this was a target about th- making a print making to popularize mm. that was a idea but but this is the one this is a one of thing before that there's a one i bring back to the one of the progressive art group artist group there is a one pro- fellow he came from america and he had a he came on particular program at like fulbright program and uh, do some pre- research on indian art scene so he went to progressive art group in bombay then he discussed with them and then he met hussein and gaitonde ram kumar other people uh, akbar padamsi and then why don't uh, the you people doing painting why don't to make a prints so then he said we don't have any facilities in print making studio in our country so why don't to then he this guy he went to some old press in uh, bombay lithograph press then he made edition of the 60 prints of lithograph of that time and that time he they were selling at 25 rupees of each print hmm. but nobody buying that time even edition of the 60 print edition hmm. so that was a 25 rupees each print that time hmm. so then this again that vivan sundaram he started that concept to make me popularize that print making that part so that was a concept was why but that is also one of the reason that uh, making a portfolio and making edition and making a small <coughs> individual print 50 rupees not to getting to the society so my why point my point is uh, i'm going to back to one of the artist like senior artist uh, uh like uh, ravi verma raja ravi verma he made up prints in a different work uh, we call <coughs> uh oligraph yeah that is called chromolithograph they mm-hmm. called again actually they used to copy from the original paintings and from that no that time we don't have any photography process they are not using everything done by by hand on a stone and sub color separation done by with the memory and dot system and they used to print 30 one painting is close to his painting i think 30 stones they used to make 35 stones then that is amazing work so according to that they are here make a small like small prints medium size print and a bigger prints according to the budget of the people's how affordable that's kind of so those days we don't have any galleries only the framers they used to carry those prints and they used to make a frame and people could carry to that was print making was done so that is a one of the reason i said that the only things to so popularize that print